This is a question from this week's Wiley Plus practice assignment. It's Chapter 7, Section 1, Exercise 11. A null hypothesis for a goodness of fit test and a frequency table from a sample are given. Here we have our null hypothesis that the population proportion for A is 0 0.1, for B is 0 0.4, for C is 0 0.2, for D 0 0.1, E 0 0.1, and F 0 0.1. Our alternative hypothesis then is that at least one of these P sub I's is wrong. In our table, we have our observed counts. Parts A, B, and C here, we're going to do using Minitab Express. Here in Minitab Express, in a column, I'm going to enter our observed counts. We have 264, 1241, 655, 358, 270, and 212. The next column, and this is optional, I'll enter the group letter. So A, B, C, D, E, and F. Now that we have all of our data entered into Minitab Express, we can conduct our chi-square goodness of fit test. Under statistics, tables, this is a chi-square goodness of fit. We have summarized data. Our observed counts are in the first column, and our category names are in the second column. The default in Minitab Express is that the proportions in the null hypothesis are equal. This is not true in this case. We have specified proportions. For group A, P sub A was 0 0.1. For B, it was 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0.1. Under display, we will keep the default settings. Here we have our observed counts, and those came right from the table in Wiley Plus. The test proportions, which came from our null hypothesis. The expected counts, which Minitab Express computed as n times p sub i for each group. And the contributions to the chi-square test statistic. Going back to Wiley Plus, the first question was to find the expected count for the category labeled B. If we go over to our Minitab Express output, expected count for group B was 1,200. Part B, find the contribution to the sum of chi-squared statistic for the category labeled B, round your answer to three decimal places. In our Minitab Express output, we have 1.40. Uh, now, Minitab Express will only give you this out to two decimal places, but in Wiley Plus, we can see that the tolerance is set to 0 0.01, so as long as we're within 0 0.01, we'll be marked as correct. And finally, find the degrees of freedom. Uh, we could do this easily by hand. It's the number of groups minus 1, so 6 minus 1. We could also get this from Minitab Express. We're not asked for this here, but for some questions, you'll also be asked for the chi-square test statistic and the p-value, which we can get from this output as well. If we were asked to make a conclusion, because our p-value is less than the standard alpha level of 0.05, we would reject the null hypothesis. There is evidence that one of those p sub i's in the null hypothesis is incorrect.